right, Strider. It'll be over soon. Yes! Yes! Everything's a bit wet, so it's been so hard to light this. Come on, baby. Couple small sticks. Oh, we got it now. Oh! We got fire, baby. G'day, guys. Welcome back to another episode. And welcome to our camp. My dog, Strider, and myself, we plan to stay here for a couple of nights. This is Strider Moss. She's my beautiful Border Collie dog. She's my best friend. She's four years old. So I've been busy this week. Myself and my brother, we went out prawning, and that was one hell of a time. It was so funny. A big storm actually come over. You'll see those clips later on in this episode. While that fire's getting a little bit of coals going, I'll give you a bit of a tour of the place. I'll get the drone up in the air. I'll tell you more about the prawning. Stick around to the end. I'm not too sure how long I'm gonna be camping. As always, guys, I like to wing it and we'll just see what happens. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again. It's when I pass your door, the memories come back again. Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Okay, so the plan is those coals are just about ready to cook on So while I'm prepping up the dish, getting that all ready I'm going to roll the clips on of me and Jackson getting these prawns It's actually so funny I was also droning this manta ray And I swear that it farted Check out the footage and roll it on right now And then we'll get back here, cook up a feed I bloody love camping, let's go! Here he comes. Phew. Whoa. Look at that man right, Strider. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Strider. Yeah, go. Ye -ye -ye. Go on, Jacko. This is the one. <laughs> <laughs> First few attempts weren't that successful. Go on, Jacko. <laughs> Look at this guy's dried up. Whoops. I'm going to chuck him straight in the esky so he goes to sleep. A squall has just come through. It is so windy right now. It's raining. And it's just everything's just chaos. <laughs> you can't, holy shit, It's like pumping. 
Oh, what a beauty, Jacko. Ah. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Beautiful. That's going to be delicious. We've got three so far. Come on, baby. That storm's creeping closer. We gotta, we gotta catch some. Oh, you got, you got two. No. Yeah, pick it in a big one. Where? Look, oh, it's a, it's a huge one. A and there's another one in there. Up here, near my foot. Where? Oh, Jacko, oh, that's huge. Ah, it's like a crayfish. Hang on, do this. I'm casting again. Yeah, go again. Worry, I'll mark this spot. Nailed it, Jacko. Look at the size of this one. I'll get him straight in the esky. Here comes the rain. Here comes the bloody storm. Holy shit. Here comes the rain, Jacko. Oh, here it comes. The last throw, maybe. We're going to get pumped. Oh, my phone. We're getting. Oh. Want me to go back to the cloud there? It's piercing down now. Oh, well, I got a couple more prawns. <laughs> you alright, Strider? It'll be over soon. Oh. <laughs> Strider's hiding down there. Hello. <laughs> you, what have you been rolling in? Having the time of your life, huh? Let's get straight into a little tour of our camp set up here. It's actually probably one of the better ones I've had on this episode for a long time. It's winter now. It's not the best weather. The clouds are over. It's windy. It's cold. It's still beautiful. I'm not complaining at all, but that's why I got the tent. We'll sneak into that in a minute. I'll start over at the car in the kitchen. Obviously, I've got the Lance Strider here. This is my little kitchen set up. I've got all my utensils and stuff in there. I'm about to cook something in the wok here. Got my fridge in there with all my supplies. Been cold trout in there from the last couple of days. I will tell you more about that as the episode goes on. That's basically it for here. That's the kitchen. <laughs> Strider will swing around. Um, we've got the fireplace here. Just getting a nice coal going there. That's actually almost ready. I'm almost ready to start prepping and cooking and I am bloody starving. I've actually had this tent for so long and it's almost seen better days. All the zips are buggered in it. Some materials, there's rips. It's been used heaps before I started filming really everything. Got my table here. Most of the time, yeah, it's all my electronics, my drone, GoPros and all that because I'm still filming. Got my head torch and my chair. I charge everything in my car. Let's go into the tent right now. I've just got my bed set up. It's the same one that I set up in my boat. It's just on this stand here. And I've got my swag, pillow, blanket, and then I've just got my clothes because I don't know how many nights I'm going to spend here. So it's got a couple spare. I've got my lappy, obviously, to transfer all the footage and all that sort of stuff. Friday normally comes in and does exactly what she's doing right now and sleeps under there normally, under the bed or over there. Or she likes to come up and get some snuggles, which I think she's trying to do now. But you're filthy, Strider, and you're wet. That's basically the tour. That's everything. Oh, shit. Look, she's gone into her bed. <laughs> Hello, Strider. You comfy? Raining, windy, cold. That's why we got the tent set up, really. It's gonna have a nice fire tonight, rug up, and I love this time of year for camping. It's honestly, it's why I'm camping so much. I think the last three or four episodes have been camping. Well, some good news, guys. It turns out I'm not actually camping solo because I got this big pimple that's decided to join me on this camping trip. Can you see the size of that thing? <laughs> The hoodies are back online, ready for winter if you want to check them out, youngbloods.co. The body pants are sold out, unfortunately you have to be so quick with them. And we're working on beanies, hopefully they'll be out in the next couple of months, so stay tuned for that. As you can see, it got a little bit wild towards the end there, we're only in Tinny and we're actually a long way from where we launched, so we had to just get up out of there and that storm basically set in for the last couple of days. That was the last bit of good weather that we got. Made the most of it, got a good feed of prawns. I'm actually gonna cook them up tomorrow morning for breakfast. My mum gave me this recipe that I'm so excited to try. She used to cook it all the time for us when we are grommets. For dinner tonight, I'm actually gonna cook up that coral trout that I got on my last camping trip out in the boat with Strata. You guys would have seen that if you watched the last couple of episodes a few days ago. So fill it that up, prep that. I've got that with me, I'm gonna get that out, 
get it all ready. I'm just cooking fish wraps, but a little bit more special. Vicky's chopped me up some vegetables, mushroom, capsicum, a few little extra spicy ingredients there, and it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. He's getting a little bit cold, so I can get this fire back going. And enjoy the night. Strider's off somewhere. Where'd Strider go? Oh, well, this is just about done. Put that there for now to cool down. Might get that fire a little bit going, a uh, bit of warmth. A little bit of this. Goddamn sand. Bit of guac. A little bit of green shit. Stick that onto the guac so it doesn't fly away. Bit of cigar sauce to paste that down. <laughs> As always, guys, cheers to you. Thank you for watching at home. You guys haven't figured it out yet. I'm such a pussy when it comes to the cold. I'm not used to it. Normally it's like 45 degrees plus most of the year around here, except for the next couple of months. So I'm not used to it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Go on. <laughs> She's off. <laughs> She's gone. Oh, doesn't get any better than this, guys. The sunset is just starting to fire up. It's so bloody nice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow! by the fire for a little bit longer and then going to retreat to my tent over there. Shot is just chilling over there. Oh man, that's, this is as good as it gets for me personally. You cold out there, Strider, or what? Crazy. I'm just going to shut the car up. Ugh. Bed, I reckon. Get into camp. Come on, Strider. Strider, come on. Look how cozy this is. Move the table out the way so I can see the fire tonight. I'll probably keep chocking it up for the next hour or so anyway. Oh, oh my God. You are kidding me. Hello, Strider. How you doing, sweetie? Hey, good girl. Nice and warm in here, isn't it? Oh my God, this is so good. Well guys, that's me, unless something else exciting happens tonight. Um, I'll see you guys first thing tomorrow morning. We've got some prawns to cook and a day to explore, depending on the weather. But she's pretty wild right now, and I think it's only gonna push over worse, but you never know what you're gonna wake up until in the morning. Until then, this is me. I'm uh, pretty snug and comfortable in here. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I don't think the sun's up yet, but someone else is bloody up, that's for sure. Check it out. 
Hello Strider. You want to go outside and go for an adventure? Strider's up before the sun like normal. What a beautiful night. The uh, wind was slapping a bit, so I moved my bed because I was getting slapped in the face with the tent <laughs> all night. But apart from that, it was an amazing sleep. Good morning, Strider. Good morning. Come on then. Let's go. Go. Oh. Go. Oh. Oh. What a bloody beautiful morning. Windy, but fresh and nice. Hello, Shrider. Good girl. Go on, off you go. <laughs> I was such a pussy with the cold. I'm gonna get back in the tent for a little bit. I'm gonna wait for that sun to come up and I'll get the drone up, film the sunrise. Oh, you wanna come in here, Strider? No, nah. <laughs> Strider doesn't wanna come in here. Oh, wow. Hello, come on up. <laughs> Hello. Good girl. All right, I mean, Strider gonna chill here for a little bit. <laughs> So I've just been sussing out the weather. Where I live in remote Australia here, the winter here, I guess, wouldn't even be classed as a winter that some of you guys watching. It doesn't snow, it doesn't get below freezing or anything like that. This is my winter. A lot of people come here from their winters to escape it. So I must admit that it's probably not cold for a lot of you people, but I've grown up along this coast here. So this is all I know. So for me, it's bloody freezing and I'm the biggest sook. So I've been researching and there is this remote island that you can travel to with the COVID restrictions from where I live. I'm just trying to make that happen now. So fingers crossed that I can get that happening and I'll be over there to film some content for you guys. That should be absolutely insane. We're Strider. We're just gonna go for a little cruise along the beach to kill some time this morning. Oh, we stalled it. Just see what we can find. And obviously if anything happens, I'll bring you guys with us. Back at camp now that wind's picked up, it's starting to rain, it's been raining on and off all morning. So I'm getting straight into cooking these prawns. I'll show you the little setup here. I've got my wok that I'm gonna cook it all in, plate. I just cut up some onion, carrot, a little bit of red shit, a bit of capsicum there, some rice for later, salt and pepper, plum shosh. And this is a prawn that I haven't cooked because I want to show you what one looks like not cooked because I caught it, sort of didn't get to do it the other day. Got some green shit, got my prawns just sort of pre-cooking there. Oh, there's a spider. Go on, mate, get out of there. Yeah, you'll be sweet now. Oh, what he was doing on the cooker. Just gonna cook these for literally a couple of minutes, get a little bit of pink color, let them cool, peel them, and then I'll show you what else is gonna go on in a little bit. Hopefully that rain holds off and doesn't get really heavy. Um, I just decided to put the cooker behind the tent here, away from the wind and the rain. That should be enough for that. Just take them off for now. I didn't really get the chance to show you what these prawns look like when we're in the boat because we got smashed by that storm. But this is a banana prawn and this is quite a big one really. Um, this is non-cooked, I thought I'd leave, leave this one out just to show you guys. We ended up with a fair few, Jackson's taken half, I've got my half here. And that's what basically a cooked one, you could eat that right now but I sort of like lightly cooked it because I just want to take the shell off, clean it all up which I'll show you what I'm doing right now before I put it in the dish and recook it later on to get it perfecto. What you do, rip the head off, peel the tail back thing off, down the back there, boop, and then start unpeeling the body. It should come off relatively easy if you've cooked it good, just like that. And then get those legs off, and you can pull that poo tube out if you like as well. It's up to you, it's a personal preference. I'm gonna get rid of mine. There you go, and that's about it. And you just repeat, 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 repeat.
Give him a good little wash. No. That's all right. Oh. Oh. Whoa! We got fire, baby. This thing's an absolute weapon. <laughs> Turn that down a little bit. Chuck me onion in. Bit of garlic. Meant to be like a teaspoon or something. I don't really know what that is. Try that in there. Rest of the veg. Smash these prawns in. Some plum sauce. Plum, 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 plum. Add some rice. <laughs> We're done. Just got to let that cool down for a bit, settle, and I'm going to smash this. I am so hungry and so excited about this. It honestly looks so good. I hope you guys can still hear me with this wind and all that. I'm sorry I can't do anything about it, but this looks absolutely bloody amazing. I am so excited to get into this. I haven't even tasted one prawn yet, so I'm going to go double prawner. Here's to you guys. No bloody words. That is so good. <laughs> That's it for this episode. A beautiful couple of days winter camping in remote Australia. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Amazing feed of prawns. That was absolutely beautiful. I literally just got word that this tropical island trip is happening. I'm flying out tomorrow morning. I've got nothing packed, so I've got to pack all this up, get home, get ready for that, and I'm so bloody excited. So make sure you subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but there should be some crazy episodes coming up. We're going to a tropical island, baby. I'll see you guys in a couple of days. That's a wrap, baby. Man, I still gonna eat all this. Don't worry about that. This ain't gonna get wasted.